So at the beginning of the story, we see a boy who was looking for his brother. He comes to a party looking for him, where everyone was having a lot of fun. At the same time, someone tells him that his brother is in the room above. When the boy goes to the room above, he sees that his brother was in a bad condition and he was talking strange things about his dad. Hearing this, the boy gets scared because his dad had died many years ago. He had now brought his brother down. Then the boy's brother attacks him with a knife and then later killer took his life. Seeing this, the people in the party were very scared. Now in the story, we see a 17-year-old girl, Mia, who was with her relatives after her mother's death. At the same time, Mia's dad was also there. Seeing them, it seemed that Mia's relationship with her dad was not good at all. Then she gets a call from her friend Jade's brother, who was sitting on the footpath waiting for his sister Jade. But she didn't come to pick her up. So she called Mia that her sister has forgotten to come to pick her up. So that's why she left her home. Mia had now reached there with her car. Jade's brother, whose name is Riley, takes her. On the way, she drives the car in a lot of fun. Then on the way, a kangaroo comes and lies down in a wounded condition in front of their car. Mia takes her car to that kangaroo again and again, but stops her car. She didn't want to kill that kangaroo, so they left that kangaroo there and went ahead. She now brings Riley to her house, where she also meets her friend Jade. Here it is shown that Mia's friend Jade was with a friend of hers who used to be a friend of Mia too. But anyway, Mia doesn't care about these things now. She ignored this and loved Jade a lot. Now while talking, Mia shows Jade a video in which a girl had big black eyes. It seemed that a devil was in control of her. That's when her friend comes there. Tonight all of them had to go to their friend's party. All of them reach there. Mia's friend tells everyone that we are going to play a game called Talk to Me. Talk to Me. Mia was ready to play this game. She is tied to a chair. Now her friend lights a candle on the table in front of her. The second friend puts a strange hand statue in front of Mia. Now they tell her that you will have to shake your hand with this hand and say talk to me. Then all the lights are turned off. When Mia does this, the statue shakes her hand with her hand. Then she sees an old man sitting in front of her. Seeing this, she was very scared and takes her hand away from that hand. But on the insistence of her friends, she starts this game again. She shakes her hand with that hand again and says I let you in. It means that if there was any bad power in this game, then Mia was allowing her to come inside. Now she sees her brother-in-law Riley in front of her and says that he is standing behind you. He likes you. Hearing this, Riley started getting scared because he was sitting in the middle of his friends. He thinks who could be behind him. Mia's eyes were blackened. She tells Riley to run away from here. At that time, the time of 90 seconds was over. Mia's friends separate her hand from that strange hand. The candle was also extinguished. Mia came to her senses. What happened to Mia? We will come to know in the story. At night Riley was not able to sleep thinking about Mia. He is very scared in the room alone. That's why he goes to his sister's brother-in-law's room. But she also refuses to let him sleep with her. Then he lies down in the lounge near Lady Mia, who stayed at his house tonight. Mia tells Riley about her dream that always used to come to her. She says, I see in my dream that I am standing in front of a glass but I do not see my reflection in it. Then they talk about the game. Then Mia tells me how I felt at that time that as if I was floating in the air. Now while listening to the same thing, Riley goes to sleep. Mia takes her phone from his hand and puts it aside, and lovingly rubs her hand on her head. When she was doing this, we see her hand, which seemed to be of some strange evil black power. Mia still had that evil in her that came inside her during the game. Mia was possessed after playing that game. At night, all the friends were gathered at Jed's house. Jed's mother tells her children to stay away from things like alcohol and drugs. Saying this, she left the house. Now here Mia asks one of her friends about that hand. What is the story of this? He tells that I do not know much. But yes, it is said about this hand that it was cut from a medium's body. Medium means those who can talk to ghostly souls. This was done so that humans remain connected to the world of souls. It means that this hand is the way to the world of souls. Now here everyone plays the game with that hand one by one. And every time everyone was also making videos of each other. Everyone was having a lot of fun doing this. But Jed does not play this game even once. Here Riley also says to play this game. But Jed refuses and goes out. Now when Jed goes out Mia allows Riley to play the game. Mia was possessed in the control of the devil. 
So whatever the devil was telling her to think or speak, she was doing it. Now when Riley starts that game and he holds his hand, he says I let you in. Similarly, Mia's mother's soul goes inside her, who started talking to Mia. But by then the time was over, which all the friends had given Riley to play the game. But Mia had felt her mother's soul. She was also hearing her voice. But then from the world of those souls, the devil who likes Riley comes inside him. It means that in the beginning of the story, Mia told Riley that he is standing behind you. Now that devil was inside Riley. Then Riley hits his head hard on the table. After a while, the police also came there and started inquiring about Riley. She was in a very bad condition, so she is taken to the hospital. After all this, when Mia reaches home at night, her dad tries to talk to her. But she went to her room and does not talk to her dad. Then after a while she goes to the hospital where Riley was admitted. Now she knew that she had to go to the hospital and face Riley's family. Because she had given permission to play the game. As soon as she reaches the hospital, it is the same as she had thought. Jade gets very angry at her. She says how did you dare. Because of you, my brother is in this condition today. Hearing this, Mia was very sad and comes home with Jade's friend. But tonight she did not want to stay alone at home. That's why Jade's friend tells her to stay at home. She was very tired of all these things. Mia comes home and lies on the bed and was watching her mom's video. That's when she gets her eyes. She sees her mom in her dream. When she died, as soon as she opens her eyes, she sees that the nails of her hand are broken. And blood is coming out of them. Seeing this, she gets very scared. But this was also her dream. Only then she feels that there is someone else in her room. When she goes to Jade's friend to see him, who had come home with her. She sees a devil who was sucking Jade's friend's feet. Mia was very scared to see this. She tries to wake him up again and again. She says, get up, see who is near you. But as soon as Jade's friend wakes up from sleep. In reality, it was Mia who was sucking his feet. Seeing this, he was very scared and also surprised. They're in the hospital, when Jade and her mom were cleaning Riley in the bathroom. That's when Riley bites Jade's hand. And laughing loudly, he hits his head on the wall again. The devil was making Mia realize again and again that Riley is in a lot of pain. So you set her free from her pain. That is, kill her. Mia talks to all her friends about all this. Then she goes to the same girl whom we saw at the beginning of the story. Whose brother had also killed himself. That boy tells her that that hand is a devil's hand. The way of the world of souls. I don't know anything more about it. That's why all Mia's friends walk their own paths due to not being able to do anything. Now Mia, Jade and her friend come back to the third hospital. She was thinking that maybe something was left incomplete in the game that day. That when Riley was playing that game, he hit his head on the table. That's why everything got stuck in it and forgot to extinguish that candle. That's when the devil came into the real world and is now inside Riley. They now give that devilish hand to Riley. But nothing happens. Mia thinks that if Riley is not saying anything, then maybe he is dead. That's why now she shakes her hand with that hand. And says, talk to me Riley. I want to talk to Riley. Then a little girl comes in front of her. Who was telling her, I let you in. That's when Mia went to the world of souls, devils. She sees Riley there. Who was badly controlled by the devil. She was very scared to see this. And comes back to her world crying. Now she had come to her house where her dad was waiting for her. As soon as Mia comes, they tell her her mom's letter. In which it was written, my dear husband. And Mia, I am very happy today. Today is a very good day for me. I hope you will also be very good. I am not in pain at all now. Hearing these things, Mia hugs her dad. That's when Mia hears her mom's soul from a distance. That your dad is lying, Mia. She was hearing this again and again. That your dad is lying. That's when the devil attacks her in the form of Mia's dad. Mia kills him with a scissor. But she had forgotten that her dad was actually in front of her. It was just an illusion of hers. That the devil is in front of her. Then she calls her friend Jade. And tells that I am in a lot of pain. You come to my house. Jade now leaves Riley alone and goes to Mia's house. But what is this? Mia was in the hospital parking. Who was watching Jade while going. This means that the devil was still inside Mia. Who called Jade at home by deceit. So that she can kill Riley from Mia. Now Mia had brought Riley from the hospital on the road by making him sit on the wheelchair. On the other hand, Jade was reaching Mia's house and calling her again and again. Now when Mia does not pick up her call, then she goes inside her house, and sees that Mia's dad is lying in blood. 
Seeing this, Jade understood everything. She calls her mom and tells about Mia. And now she reaches the hospital soon. Then she sees that Mia was taking Riley on the wheelchair in the middle of the road. Mia was thinking in her heart that she should kill Riley or not. As she had thought about the kangaroo, which we saw at the beginning of the story. Then the devil comes in the form of Mia's mom, who was trying to kill Riley again and again. Then Mia jumps herself instead of throwing Riley in front of the car. But Jade had saved her. Now she was in the hospital in an injured condition, where she sees herself in the mirror. Then she does not see her reflection, and becomes unconscious. Her bad dream had come true. She was trapped in the world of souls. She sees the light of the candle in the dark world of souls. When she goes to her, there is a hand on the candle. As soon as Mia holds that hand, she sees a boy who says, I let you in. Means now this hand was going to play a game with someone else. It was clear that Mia put her life in danger behind saving Riley. No one knew who had that hand. And with this, the story of this film also ends here.